East New York, often wrongly associated with urban decay, but few know of its ancient agricultural legacy of fertile grassland that provided produce and dairy for a young New York City. Today, that farming tradition continues amongst the multitude of community gardens sprinkled amidst the rubble of neglect, fast food restaurants, and few supermarkets. Mondo Black visited East New York farms in new lots to witness firsthand residents young and old working the land. On an average day, I am looking into advertising our market. Um, we are in market season now, so my job is to make sure that people know that we're here and when it's going to start, which is June 25th, and let them know about all the entertainment we have going on. And I visit community centers and WIC centers and just different organizations to let them know what's coming up this season at East New York Farms. East New York Farms runs a youth internship program. We have 33 youth that we hire and they work with us for nine months and they um, learn about urban agriculture. So they tend to our farm and other garden, community gardens in our community and they grow food they learn about eating healthy, and then the food that they grow, they harvest and they sell it at the market. It was 2008, and um, one of the supervisors here, Sarita, she came to my school, and she talked about um, ECO Farms and what they do, and I was interested, you know, because um, I wanted a job experience, I wanted to learn how it feels to um, actually work on a farm, um, and so I, you know, signed up for the program. Um, I took an application and then they called me in for an interview and then I got the job. I'm Tracy Herpin and I am a farm education intern and I work here at East New York Crimes. So what I do is that I work with volunteers, I go to different gardens and I also um, like educate people about what they don't know about farming and also I educate the um the volunteers about what they don't know also and I give tours also around the garden. It's something different like you don't really see a, like a normal person working like at a garden or at a farm you know you don't see just regular people just work at you know regular stores you know fast food restaurants but it's different to work at a um at a farm. Over here we have garlic and we planted we planted this during the winter time and it's also good to plant garlic during the winter time and we use like the haystacks that's over here too so yeah they look real good now here is our compost station and what compost is is a mix of greens and browns and here we have some leaves that are browns and we use food scraps like there be some food scraps over here too like um any chick like um, eggshells, you know, not, you can't use like a lot of oily stuff because if you use oily stuff, it'll be, um, it'll take longer. So, so we, we use like a mix of greens and browns. This is sage just coming up and these are strawberries. Although the weeds are trying to take them over. East New York has 60 plus community gardens the most out of the five New York City boroughs. My name is Jeanette Weir, and I'm a member here of Hands and Hearts Garden, located on Alabama and New Lots Avenue in East New York, Brooklyn. I'm an original member of this garden when we started in 2007. Wow. We started the garden, we had six people when we first started. The best part for me about farming is that when I do all of this work, it's going to help other people to be healthier when they eat the vegetables that we're helping to grow. Some of their vegetables are corn and carrots and broccoli. Um, I'm out here about three, three times a week. Well, to know that I'm helping out the community and trying mm -hmm. to make the environment better, I feel good about it. Um, 
These all-volunteer groups have undertaken the back-breaking work of converting vacant, rubble-strewn city-owned land into community gardens. They connect city kids to the earth. They are the future of urban agriculture. The future of urban farming in low-income communities. I think if we keep on the right track and keep doing what we're doing and spreading the word and having people come and see what we could do here and see how actually very easy it is and um, teach people how to grow their own food, I think we'd have a healthier community and a brighter future for our youth. Um, a lot of the seniors that live in this community have a lot of health issues and uh, heart disease, diabetes, obesity, and if our youth and our younger people keep working at this and keep talking about it and keep helping I mean, each other in the community, I think urban farming would be the answer to a lot of the health issues that we have here. Mondo, 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 Black, 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 Black,